Hi! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these pretty African flower dish scrubbies. I am going to use the Spackle Scrubby Yarn to create these dish scrubbies today. And I thought this would be just a beautiful, nice um, pattern for a dish scrubby. Just perfect for summer. You know, summertime we all have beautiful flowers in our garden. And I thought, why not have beautiful flowers while we do our dishes? So. These, this um, African flower pattern has been around for a long, long time. It's a beautiful pattern. So I'm going to be using the Sparkle Scrubby Yarn. I'm going to use green, pink, and orange to create the scrubby today. So let me go ahead and slip these off to the side so we can see them as we crochet along and make our very pretty dish scrubby today. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to be using the orange pink and green and I think these colors look so pretty together this time what I think I'm going to do is I am going to start off with the orange in the center and then for the petals I will do pink and then for the edging I will use the green so let's go ahead and begin so I'm going to go ahead and get my crochet hook and that is going to be a size H or 8 5 millimeter crochet hook so what we want to do is we're going to start off with the orange. And I just wanted to show you, like, when you make a granny, hexagon granny, or African flower with acrylic yarn, um, you know, this is what it will look like. You'll have um, four different colors. You'll use um, one for the center, another color for your petals. It takes two rounds to do the petals. And then for this um, edging here, this is like the outline. It outlines it outlines the petals and um, this is the edging. So for the scrubbies of course I am not going to do this last round. So we only need three colors to make our African flower dress scrubby today. We're going to start off with a magic ring or magic circle and I'm going to start with the orange color. Okay so now we want to go ahead and chain three. One two, three, and then we're going to do a double crochet into the center of that magic circle, and then chain one, and then two double crochets. Okay, and then we're going to chain one, and then two double crochets. Chain one, Two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. So what we want to have is six sets of two double crochets together and have a chain one space in between. So let me just count to see how many sets of two we have so far. Two, and then the chain one, two, and then chain one. One, two, three, four, five. We need one more set of two. So I just did the two double crochets, so I want to chain one. And then two double crochets. And then we're going to chain one, and we're going to pull the tail of that magic circle. Close up that center circle as small as we can. And then join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three that we did when we began the round. Okay, so just to double check, we should have six sets of two double crochets and six chain one spaces. So we essentially should have six spaces to work in to create the petals. So let's make sure I have six sets of two. Yes, I have six. So now let's go ahead and we're done with the center. So this time I'm doing it in orange. This one I did with pink and this one was green. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the yarn here because I'm done with the orange for this African flower. So I'm going to wind up my orange yarn since I'm done with that. And now I'm going to make the petals with the pink. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do a yarn over. And pull that yarn over right through that loop, fasten off, 
And then I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook into that chain one space right there. I'm going to make a slip knot with the pink yarn. And insert it in the, into the hook. Or insert it onto the hook. And then I'm going to pull that through. I have that pulled through that chain one space between the two double crochets. And then I'm going to do a yarn over, pull that through with a slip stitch to attach. All right, so now we want to chain three. One, two, three. And then do another double crochet. And the chain three is going to count as a double crochet here, so essentially that's two double crochets. Chain one, and then two double crochets into that same chain one space. And then we're going to do a double crochet. We're going to go right into that chain one space right after these two double crochets. So we'll go right into that chain one space and do two double crochets. And then chain one. And then do two more double crochets into that same chain one space. And then we're going to skip these next two double crochets, go right into the next chain one space with two double crochets. We're going to chain one and two more double crochets into that same chain one space. And then two double crochets into the next chain one space. Chain one and two more double crochets into that chain one space. And we're going to do that all the way around, working into each chain one space with two double crochets, a chain one, and two double crochets with the pink. With the pink sparkle yarn. It's so sparkly and pretty. All right. So now you see that we have one two, three, four, five sections so far. So you can see there's one more chain space to do chain two, I mean, two double crochets, chain one, and two more double crochets. So in each chain one space, you should have two double crochets, a chain one, and two more double crochets all into that chain one space. So now you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three that we did when we began the round that did count as a double crochet. Okay, so that is the first round of the petals. Now we're going to work on making the top part that curves for the petal now. And I just want to show you, like, when you work on making the African flowers with acrylic yarn, um, you definitely want to make sure that you're only doing it with chain one spaces because... This is with two um, chain a chain two in between each, and if you do a chain two, then the holes are going to be really big. And for, because it's a dish scrubby, we don't want larger holes like you would in a, in an afghan or a blanket. So we definitely want to do it with chain one spaces, because you can see these holes would be too big for this dish scrubby. Okay, so now we're going to do the second round with pink to complete the individual petals. Okay, so right here, this is that chain one space, and in between um, the chain one space here, you have two double crochets, a chain one, and two double crochets. So we're going to go into that chain one between the double crochets. So we need to work into that, so to get over to that, we need to do a slip stitch to get over to that chain one space. So we're slip stitching into the top of that double crochet there, slip stitch into the chain one space, and now we're ready to begin the top of the petals of our African flower. So we're going to go ahead and chain three, one, two, three, and that chain three is going to count as a double crochet. So for each one of the petals, we need seven double crochets here. So since we're counting that as a double crochet, we need to do six more double crochets. The second one, three, four, five, six, 
Okay, so there's our seven double crochets because we're counting the chain three. And then we did six more double crochets for a total of seven. So now you're not going to work into that space there. Um, we're going to go right into that chain one space and do seven double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now we want to go right into that next chain one space be between the um, four double crochets. You have two double crochets, a chain one, and two double crochets. So we're working right into that chain one space here. And we're going to do seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're not working in. Here's that um, previous round with the two double crochets for the orange. We're not working into this space, we're moving right over. To that chain one space right here. There's two double crochets here, a chain one, and two double crochets. So right in the center, there's a chain one space. We're working into there and doing our seven double crochets at the top of our flower petal. It's one, two, three, five, six, and seven. Okay, so we have four of our petals done so far, so we need to make two more. So it's the same thing into that chain one space. Seven double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, one more petal to complete our pretty flower. So seven double crochets again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Alright, so now join with a slip stitch to that top of the chain three that we did that counted as our first double crochet. So I'm just going to join with the slip stitch. And there we have completed our flower petals with the pink color. So now I'm going to move on to the edge here and I'm going to use green. So first I'm going to cut off the yarn, since I'm done with the pink round, and I'm going to just yarn over and just pull that through, all the way through until it ends, give it a tug to fasten off, and now we're ready to do the pretty border or edging with the green. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make a slip knot with the green. Okay, so a good spot to start would be, you see where we just fastened off right there? Let's go ahead and start right in there. And we're going to do a single crochet after we um, attach this. So go ahead and insert the hook through. Do a yarn over and pull that through and then go ahead and pull that through that loop there that was your slip knot and just give it a tug and that um, connects our um, slip knot there so now we can work into each stitch and we're going to do a single crochet here so that does not count as a stitch go right back into it and do a single crochet Okay, and then the next one, single crochet. So 
three, four, five, six, seven. We should have seven single crochets because we have seven, you know, petals here, or seven double crochets for the top of the petal. So now that we have the seven double crochets, here's that part here. Um, that's not a chain one space. That's right above this round of um, the first round. We had two double crochets here with the orange, and then there's a a row here or a round, and then this is the current round. So we're actually going to not insert the hook into the current round. We're going to insert it to the previous round as well. So not here. Insert it underneath that row or round. Go ahead and do a yarn over, pull up a loop, and then go ahead and stretch it up to the same height, and then yarn over and complete your single crochet. So that's a nice elongated stitch. We stretched it up, and that pinches those two rounds together to really help form the shape of the petal. So now we're going to do, we have seven double crochets, so we should have, we're going to work a single crochet into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're back to this point where we are going to insert the hook down to the previous round, so not the current one, insert it to the next one right below it, yarn over, pull that up, give it a stretch to bring it to the same height as this one here, yarn over, and complete your single crochet. And you see how that's an elongated um, stitch? Really um, makes those flower petals pop. It kind of outlines them really pretty. Okay, so now the next seven stitches will have a single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're here again where we are going to insert our hook down to the previous round, yarn over. Pull that up, kind of make it longer, yarn over and pull through both loops. Okay, and we're going to do the next seven stitches. We'll have a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. So now, once again, we're going to do that elongated stitch. Insert our hook into the round just below the current one. Pulling that up, give it a little stretch to make it longer. Yarn over, pull through both. And see how that really makes those petals stand out. It gives it nice, kind of outlines them, makes them stand out really nice. Okay. So now we're going to do a single crochet in the next seven stitches. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So go ahead and insert the hook down, not here, in the current round. Go one round below it. Insert your hook there. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Stretch it to make it longer. Yarn over. Pull through both. And then a single crochet into the next seven stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that was seven single crochets. And here we are again. We're going to do that elongated stitch. Stretch it up. Yarn over and complete your single crochet, and then just do a slip stitch into that first single crochet that you did. All right, so we have completed our pretty African flower dish scrubby. How pretty is that? Let's go ahead and cut that off. 
And then yarn over and pull that through until it ends. Give it a tug, fasten off. So now all that's left to do is to weave in our tails. And once you do, this is what they will look like. I mean, how pretty is that? Um, I am so ready to do my dishes with that very, very pretty dish scrubby. Um, I really just think all of them, they're so, so pretty. Um, I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I hope that you will subscribe. I want to thank you for watching today. Have a great day.